Whoop. Hardware. Stop him, man. Whoop. Stop it. Put him a What? Stop him, man. Cut, cut it out. What is up the world? Oh god, it's a friendly neighborhood slip here to here. We got out of the business end of that guy. Hanging out today, doing stuff and things on the Ark Survival Evolved Pooping Evolved server. Hope you guys are having a good day. I'm having a really good day. Today we've got some stuff and things that are gonna happen, peeps. We're gonna be doing some really fun stuff. I'm really excited. Drax has got a very lonely man. A lonely boy, Quetzal. And he's going to bring by, and we're going to see if Pugly and him... Oh, there he is right there! We're going to see if Pugly and him can make friends and see if they poop out an egg, and then we'll make a squirt of baby egg out, and then we will make... Ooh, egg! We will make a baby Quetzal, because I want a baby Quetzal, and I think that I have a, kind of a neat idea of what we're going to do with it. So yeah, I hope you guys are having a good day. I'm having a really good day. I want to take a second, as I do in all my videos, to let you know that I very much appreciate your support. Thank you guys so very much for all the likes on the videos. We're getting 10, 12, 13, 14,000 likes on the videos. I can't believe it. And I really appreciate it. If you guys like this video, please don't forget to hit the thumbs up button. If you haven't already, don't forget to subscribe for more daily arc stuff and things, Mad Max stuff and things, and all sorts of stuff and things. So, in addition to that, we have some other plans today. I'm going to come up here and put this egg away. I think Drax is waiting for me, though, so we're going to pop in and talk to him. But um, we have some other plans, too. And what I think we're going to try to do today is play around with air conditioning and perhaps build a little area to incubate eggs. I think it'll be kind of cool. Um, I think there's going to be a little bit of trouble because, if I'm not mistaken, unfortunately, you can't turn any eggs for me, boys and girls. Do you guys have food? You have meat food, but you need to have berry food. We're going to put some berries in there, and they're going to start squirting out some poops and some eggs. Here, squirt out poops and eggs for me, all of the, all of the stegos. So um, I think there's going to be a little bit of issue because you can't turn AC units off, which I think is really weird. A lot of the other things, you can turn them on and off, um, but not with the AC units. So we may end up breaking them and placing them, but we're going to try it out. We're going to have a couple of cool things planned. So let me go ahead and get some stuff and things ready, and we will BRBs, peeps. Are you recording? I am recording. We should make a video. We should make a video. And we're back we're making a video. We're making all the videos. Did you bring your Quetzi? I did, man. Uh, it's actually the same one that we tamed together. Oh, it's that first one, Big Bird. Yeah, Big Bird, yeah. What's up, you lucky dog? You're about to get lucky. Look how happy he looks. He's so happy. He's like, I want to get lucky. All right. He so was yellow for a little while, but I decided to change him up a little bit. Right on. Right on. Cool. He, I like the look of him. I think he looks good, man. Yeah. All right. So, all right. So over here, I think I'm trying to find like a flat-ish spot. Um, There's not many of them over here at your no, base. We, we don't have a lot. Um, so I'm thinking maybe like right down here, just for nowsies. I'm thinking about building a thing. So right. let's see if we can build a thing. Oh. oh, perfect. I'm glad that that happened, considering... Oh, crap! What? Oh, I didn't have... I had exactly the right amount of foundations. I need you always another. bring one extra, man. I never do, because I'm so perfect at placing everything. Um, that is exactly why we have 27 campfires right now. That's right, we have 27. Don't tell anybody about the 27... Hey, look. Oh, well, in my own defense, I will say, I did not make 27 campfires. You did not. That's right. Are you he making... might them? have had miscommunication of telling me to do them, but it's it's whatever. Right. I, I was talking about 27... 100 flint. Yeah, 100 flint. Wood, stone, thatch. All right, so we got to get some wood and some thatch and then some stone and make another foundation. But what I want to do here, for those following along at home, is I want to make, like, an incubation room. And I'm going to try... And you kind of have something like this set up at your place, right? Yeah, a lot, lot more crude uh, than what you have planned over here. But, yeah, definitely... All right, I'm a little bit. I'm a little bit heavy. Oh God, with 390 weight, I'm still heavy. Oh jeez, um, I do have a lot of stuff on me though. I'm gonna make up that last foundation, unless you have. I did. I, won't. I made it. Okay. Don't make 27 of them. Okay. All right, so um, we're gonna make a little incubation station type deal, and I have an idea about how it's gonna work, but I, I've never done this before, so it is a, there is a bit of experimentation that's about to happen. 
So let's go ahead like this. Would you would you say that we're about to do arc science? We are about to do arc science, peeps. Stand back! Watch me not have enough walls. <laughs> exactly Perfect. enough. Oh crap! Did I make ceilings? I made I made eight of them. Oh, uh, good thing you only need six. You can mess up twice. I'm doing it. I did. I messed oh. up. All right. So now we've got all of this. Um. Okay. So. This is our little room. This is the whole thing. I built a ramp too, but I feel like we don't need the ramp. So yeah, we'll we're, probably can forego the ramp. We'll forego the ramp. So inside of this room, oh, you know what else I built? Just to make it legit, real, a door. That's right. <gasps> Look, it's a room. It's amazing. It's amazing. So I'm thinking. I don't know if I want to put the Jenny in here or not. What are you doing? <laughs> sorry, did you sorry. make Did you make a foundation by any chance? Uh, I did not, but um, I, let's see how far away I am. Uh, I'm still a little ways away. I just need like 50 stone, so I don't know how much you got from breaking that ceiling, but I can drop what I have here. Oh, and, here. Uh, oh, you want to? Okay. Let Is that see. enough? Probably not, of course, because we're making a video. Uh, I have now... I need just a couple more stones so we can just pop like out here. Yeah, something like that. I just dropped eight. I think it was eight, or was it twelve? Crap, oh. I need some more. I need <laughs> ten. There's okay. gotta be some stone on the ground right here. There is. Well, I see one, two, three. Yep, there we go. That'll be twelve. Got it. I'm in. I'm in. So what I'm do what I'm thinking about doing is Setting up a little area in here that has campfires and has air conditioners. Now the you can go hot or cold. Yeah. Now the issue with the air conditioners, which is kind of a pain in the butt, is that you can't turn them on and off. Um, so once they're on, they're on, and that's all that we can do. So if we put this down, I'm pretty sure if we put this Jenny down like so. We can, That's beautiful. We can get some electrical wire that goes inside from here. Yeah, it'll yeah. come. It'll come over like this, right? It'll snap and, on here. You know, I'm gonna go grab some of that delicious gasoline I traded for the metal for you. Oh yeah, you remember where it is? I remember exactly where it is. I think. I think I just snapped it in. You can't see it, but we're gonna take a wild guess and say that it snapped, and then we're gonna yeah, look at this. That's some room for opportunity when it comes to building with the pipes and wires and stuff like that is being able to see them inside structures a little bit. Yeah, it's tough. Um, and so I'm guessing how many AC units do you think we should um, use? I, it, it really depends on how hot it gets here. Do you Have you noticed how hot it gets here like on a high day? What we can see it is 88 degrees Fahrenheit right now, so it's really hot. Right, it, and it's, it's, it's going up too. I just oh, looked at it oh, a second whoa, whoa. ago and it was... Whoa! Accidents happen. Um, so go ahead. You were saying, pardon me. <laughs> I know it's going up to like I had seen it at eighty six when I had checked a little bit earlier. So I don't know. I don't know what it caps out at. I don't live here. You live here. So if we put this down, all right, we have an AC unit. I've actually never built one of these before. And did you grab really? the gas? Yeah, I got the gas. You want me to turn it on? Yeah, squirt it in there. And turn this bad boy on. Let's see how this works. Oh, there's electricity happening. Ooh, it's sparking. Uh, you sure you didn't cross the wires? No, I didn't cross the wires. Okay, all right. No, the, bo right. the boxes do that, I think. <laughs> it says powered, hold E for more options. All you can do is demolish. Now, if we take a look at H now, it still says it's 88 degrees in here. Right, but if you actually open your inventory, uh, what you're going to notice is the air conditioners, they do hypothermal insulation and hyperthermal insulation. Right, you can so see right there. Right, if you walk out and away from it, like my numbers is like 342, 148. Then it if I changes. Walk in, yeah, it changes. So we can't really tell what it's doing, but probably gonna take a wild guess and say we'll we'll need three of these bad boys. Yeah, I mean it's just gonna negate a lot of the, the insulation issues. Should we do three or four, do you think? I I mean For how hot it is here. I don't know, man. Uh probably I mean you could start with three, but how many did you make? Four. I, yep, do it. Let's do four. All right, so we got four of these guys. Now we've got some campfires as well. 
Mm -hmm. So what I'm going to do is I think we're going to place... You have room for 27 of them in here? Yeah, that's that's okay. why I built it like this. Awesome, awesome, awesome. All right, so JK, so we're going to place... And I think I didn't bring enough campfires, but we, we have 27. <laughs> so I'm going to place four of the campfires here, and then on this side, I'm going to place some campfires as well along this wall. Um, all right, we're going to need a little bit more. All right. And then the whole idea is this room will be like of a kind of a mean average temperature with which we can edit it by by lighting more campfires. That's kind of the point. Right. So we can and, accommodate anything that we need here. And right. I don't think you'll need a lot of campfires here. I think your your biggest opportunity here will be um, more air AC. conditioners. Yeah. So, oh, what are you doing over here, Tranodon? What level are you? Uh, uh, 27. Oh, level 16? Oh, I missed! Bastard. We'll let him live. You get oh, to live. Is there two of them? Yeah, there's two. they're flying all over the place now. I can't stand it. There's All 16, right. and that one's also 16. Well, you yeah, know, that's terrible. That's just terrible. It's like, All right, so we got another campfire, another campfire. Of course, I can't place one here. Um, we'll break this one because we have 27, and we'll place another one right here. Now, the way these AC units should work, I'm thinking it doesn't matter because it's so hot here, but at the very edge of this room... Are we still getting it? Oh, no, we are still getting it at the very edge of the room here. I thought two and a half tiles, but and those are two and a half tiles away, but I still see the hypothermic well, I mean, and hyperthermal insulation here. I, would, so, I guess it's only two tiles away. I don't know. I don't know how it works, honestly. <laughs> yeah. The wiki says two and a half, but... It's a little wacky. All right, so right. we've got this area now. Now we need an egg, okay? And that's what we brought the beautiful Quetzals together with. All right. Is he, are you ready for this? I I'm ready. I uh, are, are you ready, Big Bird? I, guess, I don't know. Are you ready, Pugly? This is your first. It's Pugly's Pugly's first time. All right. Let's bring Pugly's it. first time. Let's bring it, Pugly, over here. So I'm gonna I'm gonna bring uh, Big Bird in. He's gonna strut his stuff here. He's just gonna walk him over. <laughs> yeah, just gonna walk him over. I'm gonna I'm gonna. Oh, yours just got the little rocket butt too. Mine's got mine's got a little rocket butt as yeah, well. Yeah, yours got a red rocket. Oh, no, no, no. Oh, you can't. You, no, don't. Hopefully, an alpha's not out there. Exactly. All right. Oh, Pugly just hunched her back somehow. Um, all right. <laughs> so I'm gonna enable wandering. All right, I'll do the same for Big Bird. Oh, I can't from this angle. All right, come on. All right, there. Oh, they're, oh, doing, they're doing it. it. They're mating right now. I can't tell. Can you tell? I, I mean, I see the hearts, but I, I don't think we should watch this, man. This, oh, I don't know if we're ready. It's YouTube, man. Can, this is can we YouTube. watch stuff like this? This is PG stuff and things. We can't be... Don't don't look. I can't stop looking. <laughs> all right, no. All, all right, right, so, so how's it doing? It's going to be a minute, it looks like. Why yeah. don't we wait, and we'll come back when she uh, squirts out an egg. Sounds awesome. Here it's coming. And we're back, and she's about to squirt out an egg. Pugly Here it comes, squirt it out. Oh, oh, baby, look how excited Big Bird was. He did a whole like flare maneuver. <laughs> so All I'm right. gonna take them off wander because I don't, I don't want them to fly away anywhere. No, I got you. Disable wandering did it. Well, actually, you can probably just move them back into the, into the, open, the area, yeah. open area here, so we can keep an eye on them. But all right, so we've already seen uh, when I pick the egg up that it's too hot. So now we've got to see if this air conditioner malarkey is real. <laughs> We're going to take a look at it. So yeah. right, I'm going to pop inside of here and see if this is going to work for us with the four air conditioners. And that's a bad thing about where I'm at is it's so cold. Like, I have no idea if it makes a difference. Too oh, hot. no. Too hot still, man. Oh, no. So the air conditioner does hmm. not make a difference that much, I guess. Or maybe we need more air conditioners. But four is a lot. That, I mean, that is a lot, a lot, especially if it doesn't work. Like, that's going to be very unfortunate. But we could probably, what do you think, make four more and just lay them down and see if it works? We could try that. It also, you know, the thing that's tough is that it depends on the egg, too. You know, different egg temperatures, there's all sorts of different, you know, they all have a different range that they like to be in. Right. So um, I don't know if Quetzals are really, really low or not. Um, but, yeah, let's make some more AC units and then BRBs. All right. Sounds good.
And we're back, ladies and gentlemen. The lovely and great and powerful Drax has gone to get some silica pearls for us. We were a little low, and we built four more AC units, and we're going to test out our theory. The theory? Uh, can you put them on top of the other ones? I doubt I wish. it. wish. But... You cannot. Oh. I got to get on this fire to place this one correctly. Yeah, let uh, me push you a little bit. <laughs> hold on. I think I can. Let me just do these ones first. So let me push you a little bit. You could, like, stand on top of it and, like, go at it from this angle. That's true. Oh, let me get out of the way. Look how well these are placed, too. They're so uniformed. They're um, absolutely beautiful, man. I, I hate to, like, misplace one at this point. And I just oh. punched that one in the face. And you punched me. Like, I took damage when you did that. You, oh, really? Yeah, that was weird. That is weird. GG's arc. Um, <laughs> so we'll get this guy and then this guy. Well, at least the front row will look more uniformed. Okay, yeah. let's shut shut our door. I don't think that matters, but let's just do it just in case. And so my, my hyperthermic insulation is up to 1,200. 1,280. Yeah, mine went way up as well. All right, so let's drop our egg. And it's incubating! Egg. It's doing it! Oh, yes. Dude, this is amazing. Now, the thing is, the heat here right now is 96 degrees Fahrenheit. So... It's as hot as it gets. Like, this is pretty right. hot. So this is really amazing and is working. And it's really yeah, cool. I wonder if this, with having this many air conditioners in it, it negating a lot of that incubation, or uh, what's the word I'm looking for? I don't know. Insulation. Uh, if you'll be able to do any egg here now without having to worry about it. Yeah, that's really interesting. We'll have to test it out on different eggs. Um... That timer is going real slow. It is very, very slow. This is going to take a long time. But one of the other things, I think I had a bit of a eureka moment, Drax. An epiphany? I think I had an epiphany. You know what another really cool thing to do for incubation would be? What's that? The back of a Quetzal platform. <gasps> so, so you it, could move it around. You could move it around. And, they, and all you would need, really, would be fireplaces. You wouldn't even need ACs. You right. just need your fireplaces. And then the best part about it would be you don't even have to land. This is true. So There's you fly no risk. around. You fly around. You look for a spot that's got a good temperature. It's got fireplaces on the back of your platform. And wherever you find a good spot, you just float and incubate your egg. And it can he'll incubate it forever. And it totally now, the safe. only thing that scares me about that is, have you seen the way poop interacts with the platforms? You think the eggs would, like, fall through? I, it's a possibility. We don't know. We, I mean, we'd have to test that. I have eggs. Like, I have just random eggs up here that we could try. Um, I'm oh, totally That's a 116 down. pterodon. That's a 116 pterodon? Yeah. It's not a 120, though. It isn't a 120, though. Is it a lady pterodon? Pteranodon? Uh, let's see. Pteranodon, pteranodon. I don't know. Um, it's a dude. It is a male. Yeah. Do you want it? No, I don't want it. Shoot it in the face. No, I'm not gonna shoot. We'll just let him go. Maybe somebody else wants it. All right. But yeah, all right. Well, let's test it out. You you said you got a couple eggs laying around. Um. Yeah, I got them right up here, so we could just dra grab like an egg, and kind of do. I mean, just one should be good, right? I've got. Yeah, I would think. I've got eleven Rex eggs, so those are fairly big. Yeah. Um, all right, let's pop over onto your guy. Will you, will you, um, yeah, there you go. You dismount, I'll mount, and then I'll dismount. Whoa, 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 and then you can fly him. <laughs> He's a little squirrely. Away! Oh, baby, this is kind of scary, I'll be honest with you. Hey, have you not been on this before? All right, no, I, I don't like this. <laughs> All right, so if you just, now if you dismount, so he's kind of in his dismounted spot. And then we take and we just drop this egg. Oh, 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 oh. Oh, oh it's, it rolled it, a little bit. It's jostling. All right. Still there? Okay. It's, it's all good. There. See, the way I see it right now, the egg is sitting still and the platform's moving out from underneath it. So. Right. Whoa, 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 whoa. Peace out, egg. Oh, it's a floating <laughs> egg. The egg is floating in the air. That's amazing! It's the perfect egg incubation technique of all time! Um, let's see, can we get close enough and you can grab it? Maybe. I hope it doesn't blow up or anything. Wait, wait, oh, oh. you're too, you're too, oh, 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 a little bit further forward. Oh, no, 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 oh, oh, 
Can you can't, can't go in reverse? I can't. Let me let me make another pass here. All right, all right. A little bit further. A little bit closer. Uh, uh, almost. Oh, all right, hold on. Oh, I got it. I got it. All right. Nice. So it doesn't look right. like that technique really is going to work for... Well, it would work as long as you don't move. Right. Definitely. Yeah. So it's kind of a neat idea, but I feel like probably the AC units are a better, a better bet. A <laughs> safer bet, at least. Yeah. But either one would be cool. Um, well, all right, man. I guess the next stage is we just got to wait for this bad boy to hatch. Are we just get out of here? All right, yeah, it's gonna take a little while, so yeah, <laughs> Sorry. we'll just. <laughs> it's all, right. all right. So it's gonna take a little while. We'll just sit here and watch it. If it gets hot or cold, we can just add some fires. Hopefully, that will keep it warm, and uh, we'll be our bees, peeps. All right, sounds good. All, all right. right, I'm gonna do an ammo back. Are you ready? Yep. And we're and we're back in it. And oh it wow! It. Oh, imprint on it. I'm gonna go get some food. All right, hold on. Imprinting. Imprint Baby Quetzal, level 31. What's his name? Uh, I, I don't know. Um, uh, uh, Baby Pretzel. Baby Pretzel. Yeah, there we, he goes. We don't have any food ready. I, I don't. Like, oh, what crap. is this madness? Go somewhere. Food. Is your food on here? No. Oh, I know. Let's go. I'm going to go get a... Uh, I got a little dinosaurs. bit off of your, uh, off of your uh, crocodile here. Here I come. Oh, where did to he go? the day. Where's Wi-Fi? Uh, uh, all right, we got Wi-Fi. We can't move. All right, this guy right. should have some food. Got a little bit of, of food on him, so we're... Oh, my oh, goodness, wait, that was the, the loudest thing. This is not Wi-Fi. It's Wi-Fi. Oh, wait, I need Y-Tooth. I can't remember. There's so many names. <laughs> all right, let's see. Let's get him outside here. Oh, no, come on. Let's do... Pretzel. Come on, pretzel. baby pretzel. You know you want to come outside? You want to come outside? All right, let me see here. There, I got five stacks of food on him. Is he not coming through the door? Like, I, he's just not working it out. Like, I think the doors, oh, like, if you could see here. rotate the door for me. There you go. Come on. Oh, let me get some food on him before he dies of hunger. Okay, you got some. You got some. All right. Yeah, there, just, there just he goes. a teeny bit. There he goes. He's so cute. Oh, his first steps into the world. Oh, my gosh. Oh, he's a baby, baby pretzel. Turn the air conditioning off now. Look how cute he is. Oh, oh look my at his God. coloring. He looks like his daddy. I Ooh. He's so cool looking, man. I don't remember what mine looks like without a paint job, so yeah, it's very cool looking. I love the coloring on him. He looks awesome. He loves you. Look how He's much looking he loves at us. You. He's looking Switching at you. Amazing. Um, alright, so You got any feeding troughs? Um, you know what? I just may have built a couple. Mm -hmm. nice. Just for such an occasion. I you want me to we... work him up over towards your house up there? Or? I don't know. Would, yeah, it'd probably be safer over in this area, right? All right, yeah. I mean, a little safer, I guess. Just so there are no RGs come by. Uh, feeding troughs. <laughs> pick up the little pretzel. Oh, my goodness. What's that? would be terrible. Just pick him up and carry him away. <laughs> pick him up and carry him away to Death Town. And we don't want that. All right, so... I got my feeding trough. Let's squirt, uh, let's squirt them both down just right over here. Put one there. We'll put one here. All right. All right. So we got him. Over. Is he coming? He's coming. Yeah. Look how cute he is. Now with the baby Rex, you could pick it up with a Quetzal. Can you pick up a baby Quetzal with a Quetzal? Is the question. Natch. Nope. Nope. You can't. I thought that was kind of weird that 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 you they're like really selective, like because you can't pick up a Rex with a Quetzal, can you? I don't know, definitely not. It, you know, and it might be too. Like, I don't think you can pick up any birds with any other birds. Yeah. So that could be part of that. But what I would like to see is being able to put them on your shoulder, like you can. Like that oh, looks like a yeah. Dimorphodon, right? That would be really cool. Yeah. All right, let's see if we can get some more food on him as he comes over. You're the slowest little cute guy ever. So slow and cute. Wow, he does eat pretty quick. A little bit faster than the RG. Oh, I'm getting something, something happening. Let me get some water. Some water. Right. Give me some water. So I'm going to stick this over here like a so. so. We just got to wait for him to hit 10%. And if we, the, the good way to tell, I don't know if you've noticed this or not, but if you look at the weight of him, like his actual weight and uh -huh. then the weight at the top, whenever that equals 10% of his actual weight, 
that's his 10%. Like, it's oh. a good little judge of uh, how far along he is. So when he's at 93, basically. Right. Yep. 9.34 is when we should see it. Yep. He'll be there. All right. So I'm going to put the rest of this meat in. I'm going to definitely have to go get some more. And we got all kinds of animals around here. We could get a lot of meat. 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 So, all right. Let's check his stats here really quick, too. I didn't even take a look. So, 4,200 health, 900 stamina, oxygen food, no one cares. 934 weight, 207% melee damage, and 136.5 movement speed. That's not bad. That's not bad at all. And he started out at a 31. I think, I can't remember what the starting level for Big Bird was. I think it was really low. Big Bird was 29 when, when we, he, like, his actual first level was 20, and then he got nine levels from uh, our taming bonus. So he tamed out at 29, and Pugly, I think, was right in that same area, too. Right. So, yeah, it didn't make that big of a difference. Now, one of the things, actually, I figured I'd let you know about, which is kind of interesting, is that um, Ouncey right here, which I was the, is the new uh, the new RG that I, I did, he was from Poundage, and a actually, in the comment section of my video, a commenter, N Natalie, wrote down all the statistics for Poundage and Tonnage for us. And um, Poundage was a 116, and Tonnage was a 108, but Ouncey tamed out at 179, which wow. is, I'm pretty sure, perfect tame. Like, right. Because 120 plus 59, right? Right. So I didn't think that was possible. Like I thought the babies were an amalgam of the parents, but if poundage was one sixteen and tonnage was one oh eight, how could Ouncey be one seventy nine? I kind of it's kind of weird, right? It is definitely kind of weird. And if you look at the wiki, I don't know if you've looked at the wiki for breeding yet, but there is an algorithm that includes the taming bonus. Yeah, but I I, I have not figured it out yet. Have you? No, I have not. <laughs> so I'm not really so. sure exactly what went on there, but so cool. We got this little guy now, the baby pretzel. I don't know what I'm going to use him for. I have an idea, though, but I don't think that I'm actually probably going to wait. Normally in these videos, I wait for him to grow, but I know this guy has a really long growth, and we've been doing a lot of stuff and things today. Right. Yeah, definitely. Yeah. So I think I have an idea for something that we can do with him, though. Um, I actually maybe would have an idea for possibly a future video. You may want to purchase baby pretzel from me for something special. Ooh. I have an idea for you. I will, I'll, won't tell you now. Okay, but, uh, okay. I'll That's intriguing. You, I'll tell you later. I have an idea. Um, all right. So, all right. Well, thanks, man, very much for hanging out with me today and doing stuff and things. And we got the incubation chamber, which is pretty baller. Yeah, I might have to come over and use that at some time or maybe set up my own in my little ice fortress up there. Yeah. Yeah, no, I think it'd be really cool. Or you could use the mobile Quetzal version of it or whatever. Ooh, yeah, that too. Yep, definitely. We found out some good information today, man. We did. We learned something, which is, and we had a good time, and we pooped. Oh, yeah. All right. So look at me. I look all coy, or I did a second ago. <laughs> Crap. So, yeah, I think that's going to be it for today, peeps. If you guys like the video, please don't forget to hit the thumbs up button and show your support. Feel free to share and favorite the video as you see fit. And make sure to go check out Drax. Link's in the down there. Take us out, Drax. All right, guys. Make sure to have a good rest of your day. That's right. May the stuff things be with you. Peace out.